Do you have sweet intro music? No, I'm sorry. I tried to put uh, banana bread in the beginning, but uh, the file co- Windows Movie Maker wouldn't take the uh, file conversion, so I got. You should just get Checker on here and just have him say it. Okay, the stream's up for me. So anyone who wants to chat live instead of a little bit late is welcome to join me in the other channel. Channel switched. User joined your channel. All right, I guess we will be starting. Hello. Welcome to Banana Bread Weekly. How's my volume on the stream? Okay. Uh, I am... Blood Wolf, your host for this week. This is episode one, and I'm still figuring things out, but I hope you enjoy it. In Banana Bread Weekly, if you don't know, if you're not from the forums, uh, we're going to be looking at some interesting clips from the independent video game Spy Party. Because this is a new idea, this week we're only going to cover streams and videos that I found from Sunday to today, which is April 12th, if you're from the future. Uh... So since Drawn Onward, the user in the beta, he streams almost every night. I have a lot of content from him. I'm going to try to spread it out so you don't see Drawn Onward like five times in a row. Uh, for our first clip, we've got Drawn Onward versus Titulus. I think that's how he wants it pronounced. I don't know. Uh, he's got some great reactions here because he's got a webcam, so it's always fun to watch him. Uh, he gets some bad luck in this game. We're just gonna see what happens. Um. So yeah, I want a bug here because he he's basically said if he didn't see the bug, he would just watch for statues at the end, and that's a lot of how I play. I just kind of like I'll wait, and <laughs> it's um it's pretty bad when that happens. Like I was way suspicious. So I kind of want to, oh, oh, okay, I want to, did he see that, did he see it, <laughs> okay, he's scaring the crap out of me. Okay, so I need another flirt and I'm good. I feel like he might be watching me. Okay, I got my bug and like my heart's like racing, but I just need to head out. Um, so one. Oh, oh yeah, come here, babe. Two. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh, seduction target, you're killing me here. I mean, I could walk up next to her, but just... Sleep, baby, what's my secret? Yeah. 
No, you took my spot. Oh. <laughs> so he got some bad luck there. Um. So yeah, that was the first clip. Thank you, Drawn. So that could have been really close if he would have. I think he might have been able to make it if uh, somebody didn't take his spot. Uh, next, we've got Gunnum. Uh, her streams are great too. She's got a webcam, so you can always see her reactions. Um, here is a clip with her and Casey Young. It's a funny one. I don't know who it is. I don't know. I have no clue. I have exactly no clue at all. Oh, fuck you. That's rude. That's really rude. It is. You don't clunk like that. No, you don't. Speaking of KCM, uh, here he is. He's running out of time, and let's see how he handles the pressure. <laughs> Got some tunes on. All needs to do one mission plus a uh, little seduce. Let's see if I can hide in the wall. But I think this is more appropriate. He's like, oh, where's White Danger? He's gotta be over here, he's gotta be over here. But he's not. He's in the wall. <laughs> okay. We're back to Drawn Onward again. We've got tons of Drawn Onward clips, so we better get back. Uh, in this one, he lays out his plan for his audience, which is a good thing to do. Uh, but I'm sure most of us Spy Party players know that really things don't often go according to plan. So I kind of want to go uh, statues. Oh shit, I swapped. Oh crap. Well, if I die here, it's just because I accidentally swapped. <laughs> Watching his laser readjust was perfect. Oh, that was, that was awesome. Oh! Damn. <laughs> and we're back to KCM. Uh, so now we're going... Th I think this kind of show is more suited to showing kind of failed gameplay because most of the good types of gameplay they're going to get shown are just some really quick tricks or some rushing. Uh, here's KCM. He is running out of time. And he's got some music on, he's trying to see what he can get done before time runs out. I kind of feel like doing this. In the red. Shit. Didn't even get credit, now I'm gonna get shot. Oh! If he didn't see that... Like he didn't see it, and, and I didn't even succeed. Oh, that's just so miserable, I have to do it again. Let's get rid of this damn thing, I don't want it anyway. Oh hey, it's my turn to talk already. Cool. I really need to reset this flirt because time is running short. Rotate around. Oh, damn it. My ST. This is not a good game. 
Yes! I did it! <laughs> I danced my way to victory. Yeah, so if you couldn't see because of the quality, the laser looked like it was trying to get him, but he was moving around too much and behind some cover so he couldn't get caught. And guess what? We're back to Drawn Onward. He's playing with Titulus, and Drawn Onward is ready to take some action. Wait, what? <laughs> I just really like that one. Um, uh, this is R7 Stewart. If you're not in the beta and not um, involved in the community, he's noted for being one of the top players by win percentage, and he does really well in the action tests all the time. So this is a full game with R7 Stewart, so we're just going to watch and see what happens. <laughs> so he's got one good seduce and he's about 50% through and he's just taking sips on a drink. Double agent moved out on him. It's now been over a full minute, and he still only has half of Seduce done. He's got to do at least three and a half more missions. Goes for the seduction at the bookcases, but that's not enough to get him to 100% in mission completion. So now he's got two minutes left. Now he's got one mission completed, and he's carrying a blue book. But really, he can't do the transfer microfilm, so he's not. That puts them actually farther away from completing. And he has one minute left to do three missions. Obviously, I wouldn't include this unless something cool happens, so what could it be? Bug, one mission done. Also, I think this music really couldn't be more appropriate. There, he's done all the missions, he just has to survive until an AI swaps the statue for him for 10 seconds. So he takes to a hiding position behind a conversation circle. The NPC swaps it for him, and he just has to wait it out. So it's only doing one mission in the first, you know, two minutes. He was able to complete everything else in the last few seconds because 
of those action tests, which probably enabled him to actually survive it. Uh, we're back to John Onward again. He's with Scallions this time, and he has to finish his last few missions to win. But I am going to get a green test. That's what I want. So my goal is to go over here, green test on swap. Oh, you left to be awful. Counts as a spy win for Drawn Onward. It was a good reaction to a bad situation because he couldn't get the floor in, so he had to do the bug in order to win. So that was good plays by Drawn Onward. This is Titulus playing, or Titulus playing with Drawn Onward. Uh, this is a great clip. Bread. You got a green test on banana bread, so you didn't do the talking animation. Boy, Jacket's gonna get shot. <laughs> and I knew it was coming. <laughs> that was kind of fun. <laughs> so, we're back again to Drawn On, where he's playing with Casey. Mm. He is John Onward is running out of time in this clip and his seduction target keeps walking away from him. So we'll see how he handles it. So I kinda wanna five seconds left. <laughs> Oh, he pulled what? it up. Wow. Uh, this is a stream from a new player, which is brand new from the last week's batch of invite, uh, invites. Uh, let's see what he's up to. It was the weirdest thing. Like, I'm turning it up because they were talking. Like, The old pretend it was a bug trick. I'm sure almost all of us have tried to do it at some time because we mess up and then we just try to act like it's completely natural. Unfortunately, I think his friend in voice chat watching the stream kind of betrayed him. Um, this week there was an experimental game type floating around the game lobby uh, that's playing with three known soft tail missions on Ballroom. Here's John Onward playing against Scallions to show it. Then they're not like ready for it. You just can't always be prepared in those first couple seconds, and those are the ones that matter. What's up, Toby? I'm talking here. I'm making this my circle. Are you gonna shoot me? Come on, man, hurry up. <laughs> Boom, green test. Boom, white test. Not, not so great. Gonna go over here for now. Oh. You went to one. She's still there for a while.
I'll walk over there and flirt. Come on, let me just. No, you just kind of. Boom. Green testing. Kind of tempted the banana bread here, but no, I can't. Oh, no, I still can. So, I have like so much extra time. Like, I can just chill for a little bit. Oh, oh, I'm totally down to banana bread here. I got floating briefcase. Banana bread. It's not floating on my screen. Yeah. Although, I'm happy to know it's floating on your screen. Let's head up that general. Come on, general. Go to the general store. Get me up a hot, hot date. Ah, oh, bro. Casey, I'm always over to the conversation I left. Bad problems with the seduction brutal. target running away. So I'm gonna head over to statues over there. Inspect. Oh, oh, unless maybe he, he loves me? No. That is not what happens here. So I just kind of follow him to any conversation circle and I, and I win? Well, assuming... Suspects the general more than me? Sick. <laughs> it looked like you were about to shoot me. So, Calm playing by John Onward got him a win. And acting like an AI. Uh, I do believe that it was KCM and Scallions that played this game type first this week. Um, they can confirm it in the stream chat if you guys are watching. Uh, they also tried something else similar, but it didn't quite work out as well. Okay, so we got Bug, Contact, and Seduce. Which means all I have to do is watch the Ambassador. I will just camp. I'm going to be a camping little bitch this game, and I'm not even going to hide it. I'm not going to hide it. I'm just going to hover my laser over this guy all game. All game. That's all I'm going to do. And he can call me a camping little bitch if he wants to. I'm alright with that. I intend to win this game, if nothing else. If I lose at life, I will win this game by doing this. I'm a camping little bitch, see that? Yeah, well that strategy did end up with the dead spy, so I guess it worked, and eventually after several games of it, they decided that the soft tail missions were all probably a, overall a better idea. Here's John Onward and Scallions again, playing three known on Ballroom. Um, I just thought I'd show this clip because it's something that I didn't even see the first time. Um, I can't believe I didn't see it because it's right in front of my eyes, but John was able to pick out Scallions in the crowd. Talking. You're talking. Your Let's see if you can find it on the first try. Basically, anyone who just talks like super see early, why I want to highlight them. Because I couldn't. Have it. No. Whoa, that's him. Sure. I was too busy watching who was highlighting to figure out why he was shooting people. Um, some of you might have seen this next clip already from R7 Stewart. It was actually posted in the bug forums, so the people who read the forums a lot will see this, but it was also just a great video. Uh, he has some good rushing in this. He's doing a double seduce in the time of chaos, so he gets the first mission done really quick. 
<laughs> tries to bug the ambassador, but because of something that was different from his expectations, that didn't actually work out. But he gets a green action test on the swap, which will force an uh, AI controlled character to swap it for him. Banana it does bread. the banana bread, which will distract from the swapping statue. Probably for long enough to pull off the He didn't even need to bug the ambassador anyway. But he still does it. Alright. Guess who's next? It's Drawn Onward versus... No. Wait. Okay. I think we're almost out of Drawn Onward clips. This is KCM versus Gunnam. And KCM has got two plans of action. He is prepared. Let's see how it works. Okay. Uh, I wanted to grab a blue book. Oh, now I can. Cool. So I'm going to grab a book, and I'm going to try to seduce... Um, worst comes to worst, if I can't finish with seduction, I'll just put a book in the wrong bookcase and, uh, win that way. So this is just a backup plan. Hopefully having a book for a while will, uh, make me look less suspicious. But, uh, bad walking doesn't help. Don't go to the blue. Watch check. I wonder if there could be some kind of interesting game mechanic where the spy doesn't know what how much time remains and they have to check their watch to know. Food for thought. Oh, it's my turn to talk. I better do that. I was just so excited for my seduction target to join me. Alright, let's get that flirt. Although, with how poorly I'm managing my time on this mission, I may very well have to uh, resort to my backup plan. Look at that! Uh, I shouldn't have waited. She's not coming back. She don't love me. I interrupt him. Purple dress, what are you doing? Oh, she could be there long enough for me to flirt. She could be there long enough for me to flirt. Don't leave. Ah, oh, she left. Of course she was going to leave. Oops, I missed the pad twice. I missed the pad twice. Oh, poor KCM. So we're about wrap at the wrapping up point, um, but we this is the first episode. Uh, we're going to get a little bit experimental, because this whole thing is experimental. This is a special segment, and I was kind of thinking of maybe trying like a different type of special segment every week. Not necessarily a unique one every week, but not necessarily the same thing every week. Uh, so what is this week's special segment called? It's called Come On Man, as in, come on man, how could you not see that? We have, um, today, we are going to have a special showing, and you'll never guess who it is, it's Drawn Onward. Let's, let's look in the Twitch chat and see. Drawn Onward, do you have any idea what's about to happen right here? I don't suppose you will, but we're gonna pop the Twitch chat over here, and we're gonna wait for the delay. <laughs> We're just we're just gonna see. Sadness and misery, that is that's a great guess. So let us watch. I hope everybody will be able to catch this.
they're different. Um, so if you didn't see it, that was Brimsworth uh, fumbling about all over the place. Sorry, Titleist. Day. But John Onward was busy the watching the statues intuitive. and making sure that they easy. haven't been swapped. But today is not that day. So I'm kind of feeling the, the blue danger bro. Um, he's coming up there, right there. My cursor was on him. Um, I think it's him. Now, uh, do I know that? But if somebody walks over here, like right now, Oh, oh, oh. Okay, um, that, that's kind of fascinating. It, it, wait, wait, what? No, okay, that's fine. Alright, Sean Stern um, misses, so I'll be uh, replaying it. In I know a I had a highlight minute. for that. Okay, sure. Tell me who you are. Like, I watch you just go. Alright, so somebody didn't miss it live, so we're going to try to show it one more that's time. That's kind of fascinating. This is a good spot. One minute. So if you watch near the center of the laser, laser uh, Brimsworth, which is the character right here, he's going to disappear for a minute, but you'll see him in a second. John Onward is worrying about the statues, and <laughs> Brimsworth is stuck right there taking a sip of a drink. And later he also gets stuck right there on the edge of the courtyard pillar and he also bumps into characters different. right there. Um. Uh, we've got one more click from you. I was I watched T Titleist was actually streaming at the time and I was hoping to get some kind of awesome reaction from him when that happened but uh, I was a little disappointed because I was kind of hoping for something like this. If I can get this to buffer. Kind of feeling the the blue danger, bro. Now. Okay. That's Sorry for those of you who aren't watching this live. It, it, wait, wait, what? No. Okay, that's fine. Um. I don't know why I had a highlighter for that. Let me see. Okay, sure. Tell me who you are, like. I watch you just go. So I was hoping for some kind of reaction from Titleist, but I didn't get one. Here's a great reaction for something like this by Gunnum. Who are you? Who are you looking at? Can I do that? No, I cannot. Please shoot me. Yeah, shoot me. Yeah, thank you. Alright, so thanks for watching. That's all I have this week. If you want to be on a future episode, make sure to send me links to a clip or a timestamp link or something as a PM on the private forums. Or if you're not a member of the beta but you were watching a stream or a video from the current week and you saw something cool, you can send it to me on YouTube. Um, this was Blood Wolf with episode one of Banana Bread Weekly. Make sure to give me feedback on the forums or on YouTube. Uh, let me know what I can do. I kind of let most of the clips speak for themselves, uh, which is good for experienced players because they can kind of enjoy it, but I don't think inexperienced players will get much out of this. Um, so feedback is important. This is first episode. I want to know what you think. But thanks for watching, and thanks for all the people who let me use their clips.